Hi Tom, how are you today? Yeah, going well, thanks. So before we begin, let's update your medical history. Um, it's important we do this at each time because your oral health can affect your general health and vice versa. Mm -hmm. um, are you taking any new medication at the moment? Mm -hmm. no. no. Have you had any major surgery or serious illness in the past six months? No, no changes. That's great. Um, were there any concerns today? Um, yes, I haven't been in for a while, but lately I've noticed these white spots appearing on my teeth. They've sure weren't there before. Okay. Shall we check them out? Yeah, all right. Cool. Okay, Tom, so these white spots, they're actually the first sign of decay. Um, what I'd like to do is help you work out why you've developed or how you're developing them in the first place. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I asked you a few questions? Yeah, sure, that's fine. Excellent. So I might do that. We might get you to do what's called a risk assessment form. Mm -hmm. So it's just here. Yep. I'll just get you to fill that one out. All right. Yep. Excellent, thank you. It says here that you're having one can of soft drink a day, but you're spending a bit of time drinking that. Yeah, that's right. Um, usually have it around lunchtime and I just slowly sip it throughout the afternoon. That way I don't feel like having another can later. I've just had the one can. Well, it's great that you're limiting your intake of soft drink, Tom. However, it's also important how you drink it. Do you understand why sugar and acid are bad for your teeth? Um, yeah, I see online all the time about how sugar is really bad for your teeth. Um, so I try not to eat like lollies and other stuff like that too much. It's great that you're trying to, you know, limit your intake of sugar and lollies are definitely not a tooth friendly food. The issue with sugar is that it feeds the bacteria in your mouth to produce acid and this acid bathing the tooth surface eventually leads to holes. And that's why it's really important to limit the time spent sipping that soft drink in the afternoon because the longer your teeth are exposed to that acid, the more damage it can do. Did you know there's actually 10 teaspoons of sugar in one can of soft drink? Oh, no, I didn't know that. Um, what if I just switch to diet soft drink instead, because there's no sugar in that, right? Well, Tom, it's great to see you being proactive about improving your health. However, studies show that diet soft drink still has a high acid content that dissolves your teeth every time you take a sip. Oh, OK. Um, well, just while I got the chance, can I ask you about um, this thing I've read online? So it's where people swish coconut oil in their mouth and they use that to just stop the holes from forming and they do that for about 10 minutes. Should I give that a shot? It's great to see that you're doing some, you know, your own research about health online and what you're referring to is actually called oil pulling. There's not actually any strong scientific evidence to show that it prevents holes in your teeth. I can see that you're really motivated to, you know, make some changes. How about we talk about some ways we can simplify your oral health routine? Yeah, that sounds good. So first of all, getting back to the risk assessment, can I suggest that one can of soft drink? We try to either drink it all in one go, perhaps limiting it to about 10 minutes, and even consider using a straw when you drink it. Um, yeah, well, I usually have it around lunchtime, so I could just have it all in one shot then. Great, that will give your teeth a break from all that sugar and acid in the afternoon, and perhaps you could keep a glass of water handy instead. Tom, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most, 1 being the least, how motivated do you think you are to make these changes? Um, well, I really don't want these spots turning into holes, so i say about an 8 or a 9. Great. And we can talk about other ways you can simplify your drinks between meals. Yeah, it sounds good. Excellent. So one suggestion is to keep a bottle of water handy and sip that through the afternoon instead, and perhaps even try some sugar-free chewing gum. However, just try and keep it to 10 minutes, otherwise it might lead to a bit of tooth wear and you could get a sore jaw. Okay then, I'll think about those ideas. Oh, that's great. So what I'll do, Tom, I'll make a note on your chart and then next time you're in, we'll check in and see how you've gone with that. Yeah, that sounds good.